Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. Where are we? I don't know. Uh, where did I put that? That's kind of how I feel. We're in Fort... An... Anelis. Fort Anelis. After a uh, bit of a rogue divine intervention, we've wound up here. After our little jailbreak, which we might get in trouble for. We jailbroke someone who, um... Oh, the, uh... What's his name, the important guy? What's his name? I've forgotten all the names already. That Ulvis Ools, whoever he works for, wanted someone to stay in prison, and we were meant to go on the, ha the jailbreak and sabotage it. But we didn't. We listened to Mills, and Mills said uh, we should we should actually get her out. So we did. It's always good to ha and it's always good to have a banker on side. That's what we decided. He was a Hlalu uh, banker of some sort, captured by the Red Aran. But now we're here. I have no idea where here is. It looks cool. It looks like a, a building over there. I think there's a town over here. In fact, Tain. Should we go there? See if we can find a place to spend the evening. Um, water walking. Did I have a ring or something which did water walking? Yeah. And let's cast a light spell. So am I on, I think I'm on like a little island with this fort. I can't really tell. It's so dark, no idea. So what is this place? Is it a, a fishing village? A trading town. I must be going, oh my. so if you could make it quick. You have a scary face. Now this looks like a tavern, maybe? Oh no, since it's an excise office. So this is perhaps a, a trading town of some sort. Contraband warehouse, some kind of importing... Makes sense, it's on the coast. Import, export. It's probably... Yeah, we're right south from St. Denis, so... Um, Every day is St. Plenty's Day in the Legion. I'm sure we were probably all those... Uh, 274 days ago. Taken from the Imperial City in a carriage. Uh, to this town and probably then shipped north over to St. Denis, over there somewhere. I doubt we got to see much of the place, though. Is there an inn? Here we go. It's a trade house. But maybe they do beds as well. Ooh. I like it. I like your outfit. Brass, brass claws. I like your name. Well met, Silton Elia. What brings you to Tain? It used to be a fishing village. Uh, see, I said so. And now it's uh, a <laughs> trading town. Before the Empire realised the utility of the natural harbour. Nowadays, nowadays, Tain is a small town that often sees visitors on their stopovers between Andotheran and Carter, or passing through customs to and from Vardenfell. Okay. Pretty much what I expected. Spear! Oh! You train spear. Is that that's still something I I want? Well, maybe I don't I don't actually have a spear on me anymore. I do have a adamantium spear. 
Oh, maybe we'll get some spear training. Maybe we can stay here for a day, lay low after the breakout, after the jailbreak, and um, then head back to Andothrin. Uh, the local area. I don't know where I am. Tain is situated in the Roth Rorin region on the border between the lands of the Great Houses Redoran and Hlalu. The nearest larger settlements are Andothran to the east, the Hlalu holding of Omanis to the southwest, and the Redoran city of Carter to the west. The Imperials garrison fort and Nailis just east across the small bay. What's Carter then? I, I haven't heard of that place. Carter is the southernmost major city of the Redoran at least since the decline of the Waters March along the Thur. It lies in the northwestern part of the roth Rorin region, across the Priai River from Undothran, okay. Across the river from Undothran, so where is it? So now? I can't see on my map. Is it this river? Up here maybe somewhere. I doubt we'll want to go there anytime soon. Uh, could you offer beds? What about the latest rumours? Gelais Marad? A commoner here in Tain mentioned that her mother from out of town is coming for a visit. Oddly enough, Gerlois didn't seem too happy about it. Wow, I really, really don't care about that. Ah, uh, yes, I'll have a bed. Thank you. Upstairs, fourth door on the right. Maybe if I just stand here, nobody will notice. Fourth, <laughs> wait. The fourth door on the right is the first door on the left. Or did she say the left? Who knows? Maybe you do if you paid more attention than me. What have we got in here? Pillows. Lots of pillows. Something kind of interesting to read. I really want to do a um. I'd, I'd like to do in the future a tavern review series when we just go to each town, stay in different taverns, see which ones are the nicest, which ones have the best, the comfiest beds, the best books. A tourist's guide to Morrowind or something. <laughs> Might do that one day. Uh. Wait, how do you pick up one? There you go. Let's get this bed extra comfy. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Just want to make use of all of the pillows we have at our disposal. There we go. I don't think that would be very comfy. There we go, that could work. Alright, let's go to bed. We've got after all of that we've got mm, two hours three hours maybe. I've leveled up, I forgot. Level thirty one. Well, we will go with um, endurance, speed, do I need speed at this point? Maybe not. Maybe I'll go with willpower, intelligence, I can keep going. I think because I've got some kind of buff which is putting me over 100 I can still do that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, maybe I have some mod that allows me to go over 100. I'm tempted to do intelligence, keep getting more magic. Let's do it. I'm fast enough. I'm agile enough. I'm strong enough. Yeah.
Okay, cool. Lots of enchanted things in this inn. Something in there. What is my telekinesis ring called? Alright, that's it. Well, that's weird. This door just opened all by itself. Here's oh, just some soul gems. Do I have any other clothes here? No. Let's have a look around town then, I suppose. Have a look around town. We'll come back here in the afternoon. I'll do some training. How much money do I have? 17k. I'll do, I'll do maybe, um... Five points of training. And then we'll head back to Andotherin the following day. So that's the fort that I arrived at last night. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? And that's... Is that on an island or on... No, it's on a little peninsula. And this is the bay, I see. Doesn't look like there's much else in town. Yeah, it's like a it's like a mainland version of Sedanine. Who are you? Carnet. I don't know you. What do you want? Um Who are you? He's a farmer. Oh, he's just farming. Alright then. Uh, shall I do some training or shall I just head home? This place is kind of dull. Yeah, let's let's just get out of here. I know where I can go for some spear training now, and it's really out of the way. I found someone else who trained spear, but at this point I've forgotten who it was. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I want to go... Maybe uh, I can get a silt strider from... Or Manus. Let's take the main road to Omanus and then I think it's closer than Andothran. I've never been out here. Do you dress like that on purpose? Uh I don't normally dress like this, it's just I was doing some I was uh, busy last night. Do you want to buy some pickled slaughterfish? Is it good? Yeah, I've got a barrel full of the stuff, brined in vinegar and salt, just like Mama used to make. Perfectly edible, despite what the natives say. So what's it gonna, what's it gonna be, huh? You're gonna buy it or what? You know what? Pickled slaughterfish. That sounds like, well, if the locals don't like it, I guess maybe it's, um, well, he's a Nord, but could be a Nordic. Maybe the kind of thing you might pick up in Cyrodiil a bit more. And Silton Elliot, she's um, from Cyrodiil, so yeah, sure. We don't ask how much, we don't worry about how much money, how much things cost anymore, that's beneath us. 
50 drakes. Bargain, probably. Ooh, is that, did you just give me the barrel of it? Where's the barrel gone? You did. Barrel of pickled slaughterfish. It's really heavy. Drains my personality for a long time, but it does fortify endurance, strength, and health. It's quite... Quite good, actually. It's quite a... It's a hearty, Nordic, probably, meal. It's going to slow us down a lot on our journey. Never mind. way to Carter yeah so I guess it's over over this river somewhere and Bodrum we're going this way oh I've just I've just remembered where where Ominus is it's this bloody town again with that stupid statue up there look I swear, this is the last time I'm coming here. Wonder if the um, wonder if the inn's built. Um, no, there it is, still under construction. I hope that does get constructed at some point. That would be really cool. Firing. Hello, Grandmaster. Are you here to look at the construction? I am the foreman here. Oh, okay, cool. Um, how's it? How's it going? I'm seeing to the construction of it. The work is go. Uh, go. The work is going according to plan. I'm afraid I don't know much of what's going on around here. Got a secret? There is an inn being built here. Yeah, that's. Not a secret. Anyway, carry on. You're doing fine. Oh god, take me to Andothran. Is it still early? Let's go find Milnes and tell her what we've done. Where? That's not the way. Outlander, what do you want? Oh, okay, here we are. Mothera. I, I do kind of want to remember what, um... Everyone, who Ulvis's boss's name is. Um, um, oh, I was meant to go to Necron, wasn't I? 
for some reason. I can't remember. It's, it's, I haven't played in a in a week. I haven't been able to. <laughs> a bit hazy on what happened last time. What is his name? What's his name? Uh... Hmm. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Mills, hey, you did it, Siltonalia. Are you here to collect your reward for the rescue mission? I am, indeed. Tarani Daroth is back in business, thanks to you. Oh, I'd love to see the expression on Andas, that's his name, on Andas's face now. I will tell all my friends about your heroic deed. Here are some throwing stars I once got over. Once got over. I think you'll have more use for them than I. They're quite potent, so reserve them for your worst enemies. 30 dire poison cloud stars. Um, sounds fun. Yeah, okay. He can afford it, the cheap fetcher. What do these throwing stars do? 6 to 14 points, they're okay. What's my marksman? 7. It will be a miracle if I even hit anything. Let's go give um, Ulvisuls the uh, the bad news. Somehow, how do I get there? <laughs> hey, Ulvis. Hello, Mathsero. We heard Tirani Daroth has returned to Andothran alive and well. This means that the rescue mission was successful, which was not supposed to happen. Explain yourself. Well, um, <laughs> I guess I'm telling the truth. So you helped the mission deliberately. You definitely need to be better at following instructions. Well, Andas will be the judge of this, not I. But I think you may come to regret this. Anyway, we do have some more business for you if you're interested. Go on. A matter of some urgency has arisen, Siltonalia. A house hearing has been called. Okay, that's def- As the Grand Master, that is definitely something that I know what it is. Indeed, Clavus Far Faragian, an experienced spellsword who works for Sergio Andas, has been arrested for the murder of a Kamonatong member. The Tong bosses in Narsis are demanding that he be taken there by boat to face trial. We have no doubt the boat would be intercepted and the prisoner be lost, so to speak. Sergio Andas has arranged for a vote to take place as to whether the house will protect Clavis or hand him over to the Tong. He needs you to sway the votes. Sway the votes away from giving him to the Tong. Anything to spite the Kamona Tong, I hope. They're convening in the council manor as we speak. They are all reluctant to support a low-ranking outlander. However, you've worked with Mats, Tola, and Zalan before. Use what you've learned about them to convince them. I advise you not waste your time with Mel's. As I hear it, he already has cast his vote. Which way do you want me to vote? You want me to vote against the Kamonatong, right? Draenos Helvi is acting as adjudicator. Be sure to speak to him first. Andas also wishes to advise that you inspect Milne's Lauren's home if you find her difficult to convince. He said no more than that. Okay, but is anyone... We need to speak to Milne's. In the council manner. 
Where is... I know where the council manor is. We need to speak with... You know what? First of all, we need to go home and get changed and drop off this bucket of pickled slaughterfish. I can't go into the council manor with that. And then we need to speak with Milnes and get the lowdown on what the angle is here. Because my gut feeling is I don't want to, um, I don't want to hand anyone over to the Kamonotong. But maybe this is some friend of Andas's, and maybe this person going missing would benefit us in some way. Any, because I want to undermine Andas as much as possible. He's got far too much power. Last, can't see anything. God, it's a mess in here. Where will I put my slaughterfish? Up on, up on this shelf, I think. Oh, okay, that's it's really big. <laughs> I'll just dump it by there. That's cool. I like having a big barrel that you can move around and place. Um, and an alchemy kit. Where the hell can I put that? I guess I can squeeze it on here. Can I? That uh, this is over here. There we go. Um, do I have a bit of paper or something to ah? Perfect. Uh, do I have any alchemy ingredients? I do have some stuff to leave here, but I can't be bothered with that now. I've got a glass platter. Let's put that by here. Oh, and I have all of this stuff. Bear with me a second. Be right back. All right, done faffing around. Got all my nice new glass stuff here, but the place is still an absolute tip. Oh, it should get changed as well. Um, there we go. Wrap this on. And we're good to go. Uh, I've got some expensive stuff to sell. Oh, let's just chuck that on the floor. And this spear. And I'll just have a, a dagger equipped for this. Okay, okay. It's evening, but it's not dark yet. I don't think we're too late. Let's go to the council manor. I didn't know there's a pawnbroker just behind my house. Did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I've been there.
What a lovely evening in Andothran. Other than Milnes, I don't really remember the other people who I have been working with, or nothing about them which I can use against them. Hopefully some I'll have a... this is the wrong place. Whoops. This one? There's someone watching me. I can tell. Shit. I really thought it was that building. That. Uh, oh no. Council Manor. Council Manor. Oh wait. No, the Council Manor is this place where Draenos normally is. Oop, wrong side of town. Okay, we might we might be late at this point. Sorry everyone, the grandmaster's late. She got lost. Well, that's what you should do if you're the boss, isn't it? Anyway, you, you, you want to make people wait for you. It's a, it's a show of power. And ineptitude. Okay, here yeah, they all are. Right. What? So we want to protect Clavis Baragian. I don't know why we wouldn't want to. Yeah, I've been tasked with swaying his, the votes in favour of his protection. I was never actually told that. Well, this didn't, in fact, say to protect him. It kind of, I suppose it, that was kind of obvious. Let's see what Milnes has to say. Hey, Milnes. What's going on? Sergio Thola Andes has ordered us to convene here for some Outlander sellsword. Fine. Let's get this house hearing over with quickly. House hearing. Yes, it is. And Draenos is adjudicating. Talk to him first, then to us. Okay. I guess, I guess we don't care too much one way or the other. Trinos. Yes, Siltonelia, the house hearing is in progress. I, oh, should we have searched Milnes' house? Hmm. I didn't because um, I like Mills, but now I'm thinking maybe we should have. But we're here now. We can't just leave, so I guess I've made my decision. The house hearing is in progress. Uh, Clavis, Faragain's fate will be decided. I'm adjudicating this hearing, Grandmaster. Once all the votes have been cast, I shall, uh, I shall officially announce the verdict. Most of the members are currently undecided, except Zalan, who has voted in favour of protecting Clavis, and Mel's Mathin, who has voted against. Because the default choice is to do nothing, you will need a majority. In other words, three of the remaining four members to agree to protect Clavis for that decision to go ahead. There's someone watching me. I can tell. And there's Clavis. Let's speak to him. They are voting on whether I should live or die. 
I hope you can sway the house hearing to save me. Sergio Sola and us will be pleased if you do. I pray to the gods that you can sway these nobles to vote in my favour. Even though I killed a man, the Harlu should protect their own. Killed him then. I don't deny it because I did nothing wrong. The thug attacked me with a blade and I defended myself. Like you defended yourself from Asemus Todros, no? It's true, I did. But the Kamonatong won't care. If I'm sent to Narsis, they will flay me alive. However, if the Harlu Council of Andothran declares that I am under their protection and that the matter is settled, they won't be able to touch me. Sergio Thola and us will see that I'm safe. Seems fair enough. Zalan, why are you being... You're voting against it, aren't you? Why are you being such a dick? Been called to this house hearing to determine the fate. We must protect our own. Oh, right, okay. No, you're on my side. No, you're, you're doing a good job. Me Mel's? Mel's, yeah. You're voting against. Why are you being a dick? Yeah. This is a farce of a hearing. My vote is already cast, but I must stay until everyone else has made up their minds. Get on with whatever it is you're here for, so I can leave. Is there any way to make you change your vote? No. Go bother someone else. Fine. I like your jacket. Now, Mance. where did I put that? I can't remember. That's one Do ugly I care? outfit. Settle down, everyone. Mance, I can't remember in what context we had dealings before. I hope you like me. Oh, you do. Me and my husband have come here for the house hearing. I'm not sure, Siltonalia. I simply don't believe I know all the facts. I need to think it over more. Well, I think you should vote to protect Clavus. Yes, I think you're right. Thank you, Siltonalia. I needed to hear a persuasive voice on the matter. This is the best thing for the house. You have my vote. Thank you. Thank you. That was easy. I think his one leg was longer than the other. Maybe if I just stand here, nobody will. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Now, Milsey could, could eat a rat. How was I supposed to know it was sleeping? <laughs> God, everyone's very rowdy. Okay, Tholos. Yes, I'm listening. So we've got to say. You must have some persuasive skills, but my wife is far from a challenge, Grandmaster. I shall hear what you have to say, but be concise. Why should I vote in your favour? Well, he obviously doesn't think much of his wife. I don't know if this guy can be bought. It is... It is right for the house? Perhaps it is best to protect our own, but I am sceptical that Andas would be so altruistic. I expect he simply wishes to keep his employee. Do you think so too? Honestly, yes. Your honesty is refreshing, Siltonalia. Andas may have ulterior motives, but perhaps this is best for the house regardless. Very well, you have my vote. Oh, God, I'm absolutely killing it. Tola! Uh, hmm. Do you remember? Were you that. Maybe you're that caravan owner. I think you might be. Yes, you're the one whose caravans were delayed. That's right, isn't it? Yes. In this house hearing, our votes will decide what's to be done with Clavis. This is a waste of time and money. I'm not risking my reputation on some low-rank outlander if I'm getting nothing for it. Well, you've got to vote one way or the other. Are you just not going to vote? That's very annoying and I can't persuade you anymore. I intimidate you. Oh, I don't know if I can sway you then. I have to speak with... Right, Milnes. Sergio Thola Andes has ordered us to convene here for some Outlander sellsword. Fine, let's get this house hearing over with quickly. 
you want me to support protecting the Cyrods? Well, you've helped me before, Silton Elia, so I shall help you. You have my vote. Milnes, you're a legend. I, oh, I really like Milnes. Um, I've obtained the third vote. <laughs> Bless you. I can't imagine eating one of those things. Well, just... I must be going crazy. Talking to There's myself. Someone like you. <laughs> I can tell. Shut up, everyone. Uh, Drainos. Well, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Clavis Faragian's fate has been decided. Excellent. Thank you for helping the council come to a swift decision, Grandmaster. Inform Ulvis that the hearing is over. Will do. Thank you. Clavis? You're a free man. Finally, the ordeal is over. Thank you for helping me. That's quite all right. It's good to know that even though I killed a man, the Harlu will protect their own. That's how we work, oh Slavis. Stick with the house and you can kill as many of the Kamana Tong thugs as you like. Well, that was... That was pretty painless. Quite happy with that. I think, yeah, that was one of the rare um, occasions where Siltonelia and Anders's um, motives kind of aligned. We both wanted the same thing. Sensor sending him off to be killed by the Komonotong. Really can't see anything. Is this the way? Is this sort of the way? Ah, <sighs> Olvis, that's all sorted. I understand you did really well at the house hearing. Do you wish to discuss your reward now? Sure. Good work. I'm sure Anders will be pleased. He has informed me that he wishes to give you your reward in person. You can find him in the manor. Take the door to my left, go up two floors and take the door. You'll find him upstairs in that room. Be polite, Grandmaster. This is a great honour. It's a great honour for him. I'm, As you keep mentioning, I am the Grandmaster. Okay, let's go see him. We've spoken to him before. Um, What did he say? Up? The stairs up the out here through here. Oh, that's not right. Down here can't be down. This way. We go up. I don't know. Maybe she's right. Up both stairs. Through this door, up further. I am lost. This place is huge. Hmm. That goes outside. Milnes is here. Interesting. What are you doing here, Milnes? No, she's she struggles in the grip of the guard. It was you, wasn't it, feeding information back to that beast Anders? He's unfit to sit on the council. It should be me. Oh, you bastards. Don't know who you're messing with. Sirmas. I'm watching your every move, High Elf. No harm will come to Thola Anders while I'm here. Yeah, well, maybe some harm will come to you. While I'm here. Anders, explain yourself. Ah, Silton Elia, you have arrived. You may be surprised to see our friend Lady Milnes Lauren here with us. 
Yeah, what the hell are you playing at? It seems she underestimated the loyalty of my men and the strength of my information network. Milnes has been subtly working against me for some time now, but in ways I could not prove. So I simply allowed her to continue believing she was operating without my knowledge, to embolden her into trying something foolish. That foolishness was a coup against me. Believing my most trusted guard could be bought out. Believing her actions had gone beyond my notice and believing herself to be in any way my equal, she attempted to kill me. Pathetic. You, however, have done very well. Your performance in the hearing was pleasing. You have met my standards multiple times, Outlander, something most rarely do. You deserve a reward. Ah, oh, no. I had hoped you would have prevented her attempts to undermine me, but you allowed her to operate right under your nose. Take this gold for your service and this belt for your wits. Use it often. There's much more ahead for you, Grandmaster. I feel like he's saying Grandmaster sarcastically here. If the future you keep, if in the future you keep your eyes open. For now, though, I have nothing more for you. <sighs> I want a free Milnes. Ah, oh, Milne, sorry, there's nothing I can do. Well, I'm sorry, I tried. You're just gonna have to... I'll, I'll break you out when this is all over. And I've got... My hands are tied politically right now. I'll just... Oh, my toy. What's you? Wow. Oh, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll come back for you. Um... Damn. I've finished all of Ulvis Ulz's business. That's it, then. What's this belt do? Belt of Wisdom. Fortify Intelligence. Three points. Constant effect. That's quite cool. It's coolish. Well, I'm... I'm gutted about that. Well, I guess we should head home, rest for the evening. Before we do it, in fact, I want to call by the Mage's Guild and just check in what um, the last quest was that I was given. Or can I just find it in the journal? Um... Oh, here we go. Ethel Vora has asked me to speak with Nellis Lothry, the author of the or that's right, the author of On Daedric Design, and ask him to return to the Mages Guild. According, Nellos lives in Almas Thur. Oh, I don't need to go to Necrom then. I was speaking nonsense. Almas Thur is only down here. Okay, we can do that next. That's not far. In fact, I can probably get a Silt Strider. Should I get a Silt Strider there? Travel over the night overnight and do that in the morning. Okay. Do I know a slow fall? Slow fall spell. Yeah. Oh, it's not that slow. It's low enough, though. Cool. All right, let's see if I can get to Almas the... Uh, shall I speak to... Speak to Draenos first as well, see if there's any more work for me, or maybe I'm done with Hlalu business in Andothran. So, you're done working with Ulvis Uls. Very well. In that case, there's actually something else I need help with. Some miners found some old rubble at one of our egg mines in Rothrorin. 
They claim it is a cursed Indoril artifact and are refusing to move forward. Do you think you can deal with the situation? Yeah, okay. Alright, tell me about this cursed Indoril artifact. Some workers at the Etana egg mine supposedly found a cursed bowl in a ruin they dug into. This is garbage, of course, but miners are always terribly superstitious. We are losing a lot of money while the operations are shut down. Worse, the temple got word of it and wants to send ordinators. That'll just slow everything down even further, so I want you to go there and get rid of the bowl any way you can. Talk to Glano Arendi. He'll tell you what, uh, he'll tell you where to find it. Okay, that sounds fun. Roth Rorin. Oh, not Roth Rorin. Bloody not the Ashlands. Where's Roth Rorin? Where is Roth Rorin? I don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe it's in the Ashlands. Let me ask him about it again. I just assumed I had been there. Hang on, back up. Tell me about... God, he has a lot of topics. Tell me about Rothrorin. Rothrorin is the local name for the vast badlands that run north of the Arwen Ashlands. Oh, it's the, it's the region, isn't it? It's the Badlands north of the Ashlands, okay. Where's Etana Eggmine? It's close to Manan, okay. Take the road east out of Andothran. When you get the crossroads, head towards Manan, okay. Alright, we we'll do this first then on the way down to Almasthur. Alright. Or, no, let's do Almas Thur first and we can do this on the way back. Probably going to wrap up pretty soon. Let's get to the next town. Can you take me to Almas Thur? You can. Okay. Do Almas Thur and then we'll go to Minan. Sort out the. Mine. Done. Okay. Cool. And in Almasthur, we are looking for... Nellis Lothery. Whew. Excuse me. Do you know a Nellis Lothery? Maybe? His house is here in Almasthur on the northwest side. You'll find it just north of the Tailors and Dyers Hall. I know where that is. I know. Isn't the hall like around here somewhere? Now let's lock through his house. Oh, oh go on. Let's um, let's speak with him now then. So you wrote on Daedric Design, the book which describes um, why Daedric shrines look like they do. Very interesting book. Enjoyed it. Should we charm him? Saints walk with you, Outlander. What brings you to Almas Thur? Well, I'm looking for you, in fact. Uh, can I help you? Ethel Vora wants you to come back to the Mages Guild. I'm sorry, I left the guild for a reason. I was much more foolish in those days, and I saw more evil than I ever cared to see again. I have found peace and happiness in my retirement, and serenity in the arms of the Tribunal. 
Tread carefully among those who seek power from the depths of Oblivion Siltonalia. There are things beyond the world that are not fit for the mort for mortal minds to know. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, shall I call on his sense of duty? Don't you think the guild needs more responsible people like you? I see no reason why you could not still serve the temple while working for the guild. What a sad spectacle you are. Oh, shall I call him a coward? I think Siltonalia has nothing but disdain for the temple at this point, so um, let's make fun of him. What a sad spectacle you are. I'm sure Ethelvora will be relieved not to have you around once I tell her what a coward you've become. I don't much like your tone, Siltonalia. Get out of my house, and I'll tell your guild I do not want to hear anything more from them. Whoops. Please? I gave you my answer already. I will not rejoin the Mage's Guild. Oh, okay. Fine. I'm leaving. Oh, shut up. Well, that was easy. Well, if not easy, it was quick. Um, and I guess I'll leave it there for today. Next time we'll go to this, uh, this egg mine and sort out this cursed Indoral bowl or whatever it is yeah that sounds interesting I suppose anyway that's it for today thanks for watching I will see you next time bye Weird.